and our judges have completed their placings in the junior two-year-old cow class today. Second place junior in the class, if you'd please take a step forward, and this is an added entry. Yeah. Entry 3108, North Lane's L Passion, exhibited by Chelsea Skidmore of Union City, Ohio. Third place honors in the class, and also the first junior in the class, go to entry 1977, Brook Lodge W Fireworks ET, exhibited by Tucker True of Perry, New York. Second place, is also our bread and owned winner of the class. She is Jody Roscoe Schatzky, exhibited by Jody J. Capini of Lowville, New York. And your winning entry and the best utter in the class is entry 1971, Cruzy's Victor Gillette ET, exhibited by Gold Fawn Farm of McGregor, Texas. Congratulations, exhibitors. And now for his remarks on this class, Judge Top. Well, what an outstanding class of senior twos. Uh, I think we got two heifers to sort themselves at the top, fairly easy for us. But this heifer that we're starting with, she's a heifer that just has style. She's sharp, she's dairy, she's angular. She's the most correct, most complete heifer in the class, fairly easy for us. She has it, does it on that mammary system. You love the four rudder, snug in that attachments. When you get behind her, she's got plenty of height and with the rear rudder. But she's a cow, just ultra dairy as well. And what she gives over at our second place cow, she's a little sharper, a little cleaner, a little more femininity through that head and neck today. I'm giving her advantage. She tracks a little nicer on her rear legs today as well. A beautiful, well-balanced cow coming out in second. It is our second best stutter. You love the veination on this mammary system. Snug in her attachments. When you get behind her, she's got plenty of width as well. Maybe not the height of the top of the rear or a first place cow, but she is a cow you love the balance that this cow has. When you get her out here against this third place cow, she just got a little more depth and openness of rib. When you get behind her, she got so much more width the rear at her, especially at the top. This third place cow, she's a cow, she's ultra dairy, a beautiful side view cow. You love the snugness of forward at her attachment. She's ultra dairy, she's sharp, she's clean. And the cow also walks out on a tremendous set of feet and legs. She goes ahead of the cow and forth. The cow and forth, just recently fresh. Just needs a little more time maybe to snug it up in that rear rudder, but you love the side profile of this cow. She's sharp, she's dairy, she's angry. You love the snugness of four rudder attachment that she has. Maybe just like to give her a little more height at the top of the rear rudder to follow our first three cows, but she does that have on that sharpness and area, angularity, that uphill run, size and scale, and stretch throughout. The cow in fifth is the cow we moved up several spots. She's a cow, she is a young junior too. She's a heifer born in July. You admire the mammary system on this cow. She's a cow snug in her attachments. When you get behind her, she's got about as high and wide a rear rudder attachment in the class. She's a lovely side profile cow as well. The cow coming out in six is a cow you'd love the mammary system on this cow. However, I would like to clean this heifer up in the leg. You'd like to make her a little cleaner through that hock. Be a my the mammary system. When you get behind her, she's got a de definition, a seam that you'd love to see. But she's also got that snugness of forward rudder attachment. You love the openness of rib. And that openness of rib goes ahead of the cow coming out in seventh. You admire the seventh place cow for that sharpness and dariness, the angularity. I'm giving her advantage. She tracks a little nicer on her feet and legs today than the cow coming out in eighth. And she's also got a little more height than width and a little more definition to seam at the top of the rear rudder. But a beautiful group of senior twos here in our Swiss show.